How are you today, Poo Poo? How are you? <laughs> You're so cute, Poopy. Hey, Curly Pops. Everybody, welcome the new family member, Spa. It's just gonna be a very chill video explaining the new dog that I got, what happened to my old dogs a little bit. It's raining outside. You might hear that little nice ASMR in the background. I hope that doesn't bother anyone. And we're just gonna kind of chill in the corner and talk about new doggy here and all of everything about him. Okay, so first of all, I'm not gonna talk about my old dogs too, too much just because it's really sad and I miss them a lot and it's just not a topic I like to talk about that much. But I did do a whole thread of Twitter tweets. <laughs> I'm such an old person. Explaining what happened to them if you want to read more in depth, but I will give you the very, 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 very short version right now just so that we can think about happier things and not that because we're thinking about happier things today. As some of you guys who have been following me for a year or so, you knew that I had just recently moved out because my parents were going through a divorce and the situation was... You see why I don't like talking about this? It's just in the past. We don't like thinking about this, but okay, quick explanation. So around last year, January-ish, my parents were going through a divorce and I was going to move out. And then we also thought that my mom was gonna move out into her own apartment because we were selling the house and my dad was moving to a house that was a rental where he could not keep dogs. And then my mom lost her job, so she was going to move in with me. But originally I thought I was going to be living alone. So obviously I could not handle two dogs while also living alone and I also had so much travel planned for work. I had like all of March, I was just gone basically. So the dogs going with me was not an option. The dogs going with my mom was possibly an option because she was gonna move into her own apartment. Long story short, she loses her job. I hate living alone. She moves in with me. I have a bunch of travel. My mom is stressed out about moving out and the divorce and everything. So she can't take care of the dogs. My dad can't take care of the dogs. So what are we gonna do with these dogs that we grew up with? We were not taking good care of them at the time because everyone was just so busy trying to figure out this transitional time in their lives and they just were not getting enough attention. They weren't getting walks every day. So luckily out of nowhere, I don't even know how my dad did it. I'm pretty sure it was Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist, but he found this family that lives very close to us and it was just the perfect opportunity. I was so worried about these dogs because they are so specific and they wanted to stay together. Well, we wanted them to stay together because it would be so sad if we had to separate them. And this family, literally, the dad wanted a bulldog and the eight-year-old daughter wanted a pug and that's what our two dogs were, a bulldog and a Huggle and so they got the dog they even let us visit them all the time Which is so so kind because they don't have to let us strangers visit the dogs at their house But they let us visit and they get daily walks They literally sleep in the beds with the owners the eight-year-old daughter cried when she saw Wally Which is so funny because Wally is a very overweight not so cute looking dog I mean like obviously I thought he was cute but by most standards He's not like a cute dog and the fact that she cried when she saw him is just so adorable It was just the perfect ending and that made me really happy because if I had to see my dogs go to a pound that would have been heart-wrenching. So yeah, that is what happened to them. So fast forward, I have been living in my apartment for like seven to eight months. And a few weeks ago, Ryan and I found a stray dog running around the highway and we picked it up and rescued it basically. And he lived with us for a week and he looks so, so similar to Spock. He was basically Spock, but black. And he was just already potty trained. Well, he wasn't really potty trained, but he was basically like an older dog. I think he was, I don't even remember what the lady said. He was seven or something. And we had been taking care of this dog for a week. And I was like, wow, I could take care of a small dog and it kind of opened my eyes because since I couldn't take my old two senior dogs I just figured like I couldn't take care of them because at the time I was traveling so much but I don't have any travel plans for a very 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 long time and then I took care of this stray dog and I was like wow this is not as bad as I thought it would be and then we found the stray dogs owner so Thanos if you guys saw when on my Instagram and vlog channel when that was happening he went back to his owner <laughs> After that, I was heartbroken. I was literally devastated. Like I just, I wanted a dog so bad. I would just look at pictures. My entire camera roll was just Thanos and I missed him so bad. I would literally look at those pictures every day and cry. Not only did I miss Thanos, but I miss my old dogs and my old dogs were living happily ever after with their family. And like, it's not like I can just be like, oh, I can handle a dog now. Like give me my dogs back because now they're attached. And honestly, they're not like big dogs, but they are bigger. Oh, 
lightning. They are a bit bigger and a little a little hard to take care of. I mean, like these dogs were not the easiest dogs to take care of. So obviously I'm not gonna like ask for them back from this family who's already attached to them. But I was like, you know what? There are so many dogs in pounds that need a home. And the fact that like I could take care of a dog, Thanos made me realize that I could. I talked to my mom about it and she was very nervous because I have never taken care of a pet by myself. This would be my very first pet that is completely my responsibility. But I was like, you know what? If I can get a tiny little dog who's hypoallergenic because my dog allergies throughout the years have kind of gotten worse, which is strange and stupid. I hate it. So if I can get hypoallergenic dog who's really small, who's older, already potty trained and everything, like I could handle this. So for two weeks straight, I was going to every pound possible just looking for all sorts of dogs. And if you watched my teenager tries adulting video, I actually am playing with a dog in that video and her name was Junebug. And it looks so similar to Spock. It's actually crazy. But Junebug was just not quite the perfect fit. And I was really looking for that perfect fit when it came to a dog in the pound. And Spock was so so small. He was the perfect size. He's eight pounds. He's so small and perfect. We, it took him literally 20 minutes to get him out of his kennel because he was so scared. And I will insert footage of us at the pound. But he literally sat in the corner for 30 minutes before we got him to trust any of us. But once he trusted me, he just was so attached to me. And I was like, yes, this is what I wanted. I wanted a tiny little lap dog just to cuddle all day. And that is exactly what Spock is. So I've had him for about two weeks now and he's perfect. So I'm going to answer some questions about him. Since he was from the pound, I obviously didn't name him, but his name is Spock because of his ears, as you can tell. And he responds to Spock and he's three years old. So I didn't want to like just change his name. And I think that name is pretty cute anyways. I do call him Poopy a lot. I don't know why I call him that. I just say, hi Poopy. Poopy. Hi Poopy. Very loud thunder. So yeah, I did not name him that. He just came from the pound like that. He's three years old. He came pretty much potty trained. He's actually so smart, which is very surprising because usually dogs that are small have a reputation for just being needy and dumb, basically. But he's so smart. Like if he does something that I don't like, it only takes two times of saying no that he will understand. And he also knows where my apartment is. And then he also knows where Ryan's apartment is. And that's on a completely different floor. So the fact that he knows both is so crazy. And he's just perfect. He's the most needy dog. I have ever experienced in my entire life. He does not have a single bone of independence. I will literally go sit on the toilet and he will put his paws up and ask to be on my lap. Like he follows me everywhere and he's so loyal to just me basically. Like he's warmed up to my mom and to Ryan, but other than that, he's just loyal to me and he doesn't really like anyone else. He is really, really scared of men in particular. So with women, he's like nervous, but he can still, you know, not get too freaked out. But with men, he's just so, so, so scared and he's very very sensitive to loud noises and big objects. He's just a sweet little guy and he just wants to be safe on my lap and sleeping and being pet at all times. Just so cute, look how cute he is. And it's crazy that he's three, like he looks like a permanent puppy. Like sometimes people ask me, oh, like is he eight weeks old? Cause he looks like a puppy. He walks like a puppy. He's so cute and he's three. He's just a permanent puppy. Are you a permanent puppy? Oh yeah, some people were asking how the adoption process was and it was literally so easy. It took about 10 minutes to fill out the paperwork and get him. I felt kind of guilty that I got a new dog and then my senior dogs no longer get to live with me. But the way I like to think about it now, instead of my old two dogs having a home, it's now three dogs that have a home. So that makes me feel better and I really miss those dogs too. But I get to visit them and I'm not gonna take them away from their family home, obviously. But now I get to give Spocky a home that he really loves, which I'm so glad because he's so needy and he was so scared in the pound so I'm really glad I got to rescue him because he's so cute and sweet and he just did not deserve that. And I'm so attached to him. Like at this point, he is my actual son. We have our little routine of going to Starbucks together and he just sits on my lap on the way there and he loves looking out the window. He's just the chillest dog. And when I mean he's sweet, his only defense mechanism is to growl at people. And even if he growls at a guy that he doesn't know and the guy will pet him anyways, he doesn't even show teeth. He has never bitten anyone. He's just a scared little guy with some defense mechanism mechanisms and that's it so yeah i'm gonna put any footage i have of him but this is a new family member spock aka poopy and i hope you guys love him and think he's cute and shower him with compliments in the comments because he's a sensitive guy just like his mom <laughs> say bye poopy subscribe to join the family become a girly pop oh my gosh we hit two million subscribers i didn't even talk about that that's crazy <coughs> oh now i feel nervous thinking about that <laughs> 
crazy. I never, I never dreamt up 2 million subscribers. Like, I feel like a million subscribers is just the pinnacle of YouTube and like every YouTuber wants to hit a million subscribers. But then once I hit that, I was like, Awesome, like this is great. I never thought it would get to 2 million. So thank you so much for subscribing and supporting me This is a fun little milestone for us and a new doggy too. It's almost summer Motivation has been low because it's just that time where it's like almost summer But it's not and it's just been raining and it looks like 9 p.m. Even though it's like 12 p.m. Right now. Yeah, it's gonna be an exciting summer I'm gonna do so many things on my vlog channel if you're not subscribed over there I want to like complete my bucket list and everyday vlog like a new bucket list thing. That's my little life update I guess one thumbs up equals one little pet for Spocky, and we will see you guys somewhere else on the internet. God bless, girly pops. Spock, look at the camera. <laughs> Spock, I'm trying to get a thumbnail, poopy. Oh my gosh, my hair. Spock, look up. Spock, look up. Spock, look up. <laughs> Did he look at the camera? Mwah, you're so cute. The little teddy bear. He's a Build-A-Bear, I swear. He's so sleepy. Spock, wake up. It's thumbnail time. Get mommy a million views, okay, little puppy? <laughs> <laughs> Spock, look up! <laughs> He's literally falling asleep right there. Spock, did I get a good thumbnail with you or what? Hmm? Huh?